Hey. Hello and welcome to This Date in History, also known as TDH. This show is all about the events that occurred on this date in years past, both recognized by uh, actual historians, but mainly things that we personally find intriguing enough for us to bring to you. The sources of this information come from the smart device application Today in History. What happened today in history? Historical calendar. calendar. No. <laughs> Day.com. <laughs> That actually worked well. You both uh, were in sync right there. For links to those sources, the music, and anything else potentially interesting, check the underbar of the description below. Anyway, I, of course, am A.O. Xander, and I am joined by, let's go clockwise, so I have uh, the troublemaker first, and then the the crazy Major. guy, and then the crazy girl. A troublemaker. Yep. Crazy guy? Is that me? Yes. Well, Scott. Uh, and then we have the crazy girl. The crazy girl. You. You trying to say that? You trying to say that okay. I was a crazy guy there, Scott? The girl. How dare you misgender me? You are a crazy guy, Alice. You're more man than any one of us can be. Uh, that must mean I'm a drag queen too, then, huh? All right, no, I'm actually a female, and I am who is Alice. Yep. Today is Moon's oh my God. Day. No also, way. what's up? I said no way. Uh, today's way. Wednesday, also known yep. as Monday, September 5th, okay. 2022. Uh, let's see here. Mr. Sohan, why don't you start us off in 1198, uh, if you don't mind. I would love to. 1198, Phillips of Iwawa, Prince of Hohenstaufen, crown king of Germany and king of the Romans. Ooh. That's interesting. <laughs> yep. Oh, he's another I'll one. I think you all the first three, actually, because I actually 1550 is a good one, too, so I am. He's, he's another good one. 1519, Second Battle of Jerusino, Mexico, Hernan Cortez versus the Tuscala Aztecs. Dang. And he goes, killing them. Is it just me, or does it look like his face is melting into his beard? Like, it's like... Yeah, it looks coming. like he's got some Bell's palsy just on both sides. Huh. That's that an actual condition? Bell's palsy, you have paralyzation of one side of your face, so that's just Stallone has it. So it's huh. Drew Barrymore. Yeah, no. Oh, okay. has it. Who? Okay. Oh, and actually, I think, what is it, uh, Justin Bieber now has it, too, from the, uh, vaccination. Yep. Yeah, didn't somebody, like, hit him on the side of the head or something? Or, I don't know. I think he was just yeah. dropped. Uh, well, as a baby, yes. yes, that's what I think. Yeah. Hello. Sohan has one more here. Yep. 50, uh, 1590, Alexander Farnes army forces of Henry the Fourth and France to siege the road, the race siege of Paris. Wow. Uh, 1550, I thought was pretty cool too, but yeah, but. Um, it's because he appointed himself, but whatever. Well, Mr. Scott, if you don't mind uh, reporting on this 1550 yeah, like, that Alice is talking about. It's like giving about. himself a raise. Yeah. It doesn't Hold really... Uh, yeah, the non-highlighted one here. Yeah, the one between the two highlights. Gotcha, okay. 1550, William Cecil appoints himself English Minister of Foreign Affairs. Huh. Oh, look at that. It was like he like, appointed himself. <laughs> Yeah, like I am the best man for this job, says me. <laughs> oh shit, dude! 1596 is cool too, but I mean huh. that's up to you guys. Up to Scott. Yeah. Yes. yes. So, um, okay, so are we in 1622 yet? Uh, we can be. It's up to you. Yeah, and let's see if I'm 1596 of interest. Mm -hmm. All right, 1596 Dutch fleet commander Cornelius. The Houtman, taken hostage in Java. Ah. That's in, that's in Indonesia. Mm. Java is also a coffee, or a nickname for coffee, and, uh... uh a script. Yeah, a script. A, a coding script. Yeah. By the way, we just got joined by the legendary... Me, Cleaver. Yep. And coffee sounds really good right now. Yeah, actually. It does sound good, Mr. Cleaver. Me, Cleaver. Hi, Dad. Hi. Hi, Dad. <laughs> How was the fishing? Welcome. We caught nothing, but oh, I no. did. Uh, some, some little kid did catch uh, two baby walleye that I 
uh, put one back in. The other one had kind of died, had was brain dead, so I tried to use him as bait, but we still couldn't catch him. Uh, yeah, a little bad day, but you know, a bad day in fishing is a better is better than a good day at work. <laughs> yeah, as, you got that right. Yep. As so where are we the at? words of, of magnetic. Yep. Where yeah, unless you're fishing, you keep break, unless you keep breaking the line trying to reel a fish in, that kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah that does suck. Well, speaking of reeling things in, Mr. Scott, would you like to take 1644, please? Sure. 1644, Prince Frederick Henry conquers Sass of Gent. Huh. Sass of Gent. Oh, well, he, didn't he just do the the, the last one? Because we were checking the 1622, though, I thought. Unless he... Uh, oh. That. Oh, my bad. Wait. So I, oh. I have one more. Yeah. 1622, Richelieu appointed cardinal under French King Louis the Thirteenth. Hmm. All right. Ooh. Uh, looks Ooh. like uh, Alice here has some jacquois. Oh, of course I do. Yeah. But I also have one in 1634 here. Uh, that because uh, actually he did read 1644. Yeah. But ten years prior, uh, we had a, a battle at. Nor Nord Nordlingen, uh, King Ferdinand the Third and Spain beat Sweden and German Protestants. Ah, oh, so it was a religious war. Yeah, most of them were. Yeah. Yep. We Lord. also have an. Uh, here we go. Ooh. This actually sounds kind of cool. In 1646, we have first public library in the Americas established when Bishop Palafox Imadeza. Donates his personal library of 5,000 volumes to Britain, colleague in Pueblo, 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 Mexico. I think that's. I wonder if all those Pueblo. You think all those books still exist? I'm not sure. Probably not. Oh, got it. From 1646. That's a good question. Maybe. That's awesome. The first, yeah. the first public library. Yeah, in I the thought Americans, that was interesting. Like, period. Yeah. So that's awesome on this this side of the world. Yeah. You know the Western yeah. Hemisphere. That's, uh, that's a and new then, level we hit. Yep, and then we're going to move to 1661. Nicholas Bacla, the French superintendent of finances under Louis the Fourteenth, yes. is that? Yes. Is arrested for maldemonstration of state funds. He died in 1680, never seeing freedom again. Oh, good. That's what ambassadors well, you know, get. Them them to quads. Oh, my God. Oh. What you got here, Xander? Here we go again with this. We read about this. Yeah, we read about this the other uh, the other day. Actually, I guess it this raged for days. Uh, the Great Fire of London ended on this date in 1666, leaving 13,200 houses destroyed and eight dead. What we uh, what Scott and I uh, reported on Wait, this a couple days remember, ago. Remember, uh, Xander, Xander, that started in a bakery thing. Remember? Yeah, yeah, it started from a so, negligent baker. Great fire. Yeah, the Great London Fire. Uh, the Great Fire of London. They burned uh, the bread. Well, maybe I don't know, but it destroyed eighty percent of the city. Wow! Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, before. that's insane. Yeah, that reminds me of like like the Great Chicago Fire too. Yeah, that was started by some stupid cow. So, was he bored? No, wow. that wasn't. That was someone else. No, I'm, I'm not talking yeah, about I a person. <laughs> oh my god! Jeez. No, it just reminds me because like Chicago lost like around mm. roughly that much too in their fire. Mm. Yeah, fires uh, are still a big deal. I mean, we actually have a, uh, um, a wildfire warning going on for the past couple of days out here in Cali with all the heat yeah, and everything. Yeah, there's one in uh, Weed right now, Weed, California. Yeah, Weed. What? Ironically, yeah, there is a city named Weed in yeah. California, uh, and it's no, on fire, no. so they're hotboxing their area. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, I was actually saying what to 1698. Oh, uh, 1698, Russian Tsar Peter the Great imposed a tax on beards. What? Okay. I know. <laughs> wow, he's not Scott, so you're brown. Scott, yeah. Scott, you're screwed. Yeah, well, I have a beard, too. But notice how he yeah, only has a mustache? Too. Like, you know. Oh, so as like well. A, yeah, you guys are all screwed. Yeah. Um, I think that was my three? No, that was, that was two. You have one more. You have one more. <laughs> have yeah, we have, uh, in the year 1717... Uh, Britain's King George I issued proclamation, quote, for suppressing pirates in the West Indies, in quotes, granting pirates who surrender a pardon. This was reissued in uh, 1718. So basically giving pirates amnesty because uh, 
uh, these nations back then, they actually used privateers and everything as um, uh, mercenaries and whatnot to screw with the trade of other nations. So. There's actually, Xander, will you do one more and just do that one right below in 1750? Yep. 1750, a decree issued in Paderborn, Prussia, allowed for annual search of all Jewish homes for stolen or doubtful goods. Wow. Oh. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah. Wow. Oh, shit snacks, dude. Who's next? Isn't it, uh, Sohan? Sohan's turn. 1774. Yeah. Oh. I know. 1774, the first Continental Congress, a meeting between delegates from 12 of the 13 British colonies that later became the United States convenes at Carpenter's Hall in Philadelphia. Okay. Yeah, you got three 1774s that are actually kind of, uh, they all go wow. and coincide, but yeah. I'd say I'll do 1781 too. I'm going to give Sohan four. Yeah. The 12 of the 13 colonies adopt the trade embargo against Great Britain at the First Continental Congress at Carpenter's Hall. This is tied in. Yeah, this is yep. all tied in. Yeah. Yeah, the, all the 1776. They all happen the same day. Yeah. Don't ignore that. 1781, American Revolutionary War, French fleet of 24 ships under Commandant de Gas, de Gas, uh, defeat British Gosse. forces under Admiral Graves at the Battle of the Pasca. Chesapeake. The Battle of Virginia Capes and Trap on Wallace. Oh. That is awesome. Oh, you you also missed another 1774 with the meeting of the Continental Congress. Philadelphia became the first capital of the United States. Yeah, yeah. so this is a yeah. this is some America time right now we're yeah. going through. America. Big America. day. America. Big day. Yeah. America. So, wow, this so, is when they uh, trapped it? Corn Wallace. That is amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, that, yeah, cool that is too. totally uh, freaking my, my last Amazing. one is 1786. Monas plot plus the cremate. Oh, somatic. <laughs> Hold on, let me rewind it. 1786. Monoplasier ceramic factory opens in Jarbia, German. I mean, Belgium. Belgium. Yeah. yeah, Belgium, Germany. They're all the same. <laughs> no, one's French. Uh, Scott, we're getting some uh, some background noise from you. Say it wrong and makes it sound like we're underwater. Yeah. Uh, Scott, we're having an under we're having I'll... an underwater show today, guys. Yeah. I'm just letting you know. Scott, it's your turn, and we also we're hearing background noise. Uh, sounds like somebody's like shuffling a desk around or something. Uh, I I'm trying to fix it. Uh, so I'm currently I'm driving. driving. Trying oh, you're driving. Oh, okay. Yeah, that explains it. Well, then, do you then, want me to take over and just one my picture quick? Yeah, he's, he's not going to read while driving. Uh, I am the most. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to well, do that. Yeah. Let's take the first. French what? Revolution, 1793. French Revolution. The reign of terror begins. Ah, there we go. Uh -huh. Someone was reading that earlier. Yeah. Just like, what is okay? Yes, so, I was. So let's see here. 1793. Reign of terror. So like what instills the reign of terror? Seventeen ninety three. So well, what? Well, no, no, the, 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 like trick. Uh, the reign of terror was a period of the French Revolution when, following the creation of the First Republic, a series of massacres and numerous public executions uh, took place in response to revolutionary fervor, uh, anti-clerical sentiment, and accusations of treason by the Committee of Public Safety. So dang. So it wasn't just a reign of terror, it was the reign of terror. Because it went down in history as such a name. Yeah. So that answers my question. How about the next one? 1795, the USA and Algiers signed peace treaty. Oh, that's yeah, that one's cool. I saw that one too. Yep. Yeah. Ooh! Below it. Yeah, no, no, I saw 1796 too. Oh, right? yeah, I agree. But also 1800 is good too. Dang. Well, we gotta be more. Uh, we gotta be more um, snooty yeah. over what. But you know, like a lot of these have been really good. Yeah. You know. Yeah. History, a, like they did say in that article that there's a lot of juicy things that happen today in history. So. Yeah. Uh, Scott, do you want to take uh, 1796 here? Sure. 1796. General Salicetti 
orders equal rights for Jews of Bologna, Italy. Ah, and that is not a load of bologna. Oh, boo. <laughs> <laughs> Who here is looking after Ralph's a load of baloney? They're hunting it down. Rolfs. It's gone. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah, that's right. He ate, ate it all. <laughs> ate his load of baloney. He ate his load of baloney. <laughs> um, Mr. Scott, uh, 1816? All right, 1816, Louis the 16th. 18th. 18th, okay. 18th. Has to dissolve the chamber in Travugal. Or the untouchable chamber. Yeah. Yeah. The is? unobtainable. Unobtainium? What? Unobtainable chamber. Um, what is that? It was the first chamber of deputies elected after the second Bourbon Restoration in 1815. So it was a political branch uh, of, you know, the, the offices, and he, he dissolved it. So, kind of like, you know, like, uh, like the West Wing or the White, uh, the, you know, as far as, like, the... Um, the, the West Wing or the East Wing or, you know, or like the FBI, CIA, you know, the Department of Homeland Security, like, you know, uh, an agency of the government. So, uh -huh. apparently it served no more purpose anymore. Do any of them serve a purpose? Well, I don't well, think so. Well, whatever happened to the Musketeers? Alice, you have a really interesting one here in 1836. I do, I do, I see Actually, here in 1836. Yeah. Isn't that where Houston, Texas came from? Yes. Sam Houston, yeah. yes. He was elected the president of the Republic of Texas in 1836. Yep. Sam Houston is also known as the father of Texas, so yeah. Yes. He's the father of Texas. Yep. William Penn is, you know, the father of uh, Pennsylvania. Yes. Oh, shit, yeah, Dude, here's one right between... Oh, damn it. Ooh. I've got two good ones right between my historic events here. Okay, oh. so in 1839, we have the first opium war begins in China Ooh. in 1839. And then this and one's then, in your neck of the woods. I wonder if that was a mellow war. Yep, my neck of the woods right here. And this is actually uh, the 1844 iron ore is discovered in Minnesota's Masabi Mountains. They're not mountains. They're just really big hills. <laughs> All right. Uh, but that's basically uh, Minnesota's considered one of the richest iron deposits for iron ore in the world. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, we this? have the, one of the richest and more, like, strong structural, like, it's not cheap, shitty iron. It's, like, just It's good iron. iron. Cool. So it they're still mining today, iron. then. They're, right? They're still mining today, right? Um, they are. Uh, they actually, they have moving towns up in uh, the Iron Range. They have the, the, they have the four cities, like, the, not the quad cities, but they have, like, these four towns up in... Uh, uh, Northern Minnesota, I think Virginia's one of Virginia, Minnesota's one of them. Um, God, I can't remember the other three, but they're a little further up north, closer to the uh, closer to the like Lake Vermilion. But those towns move as the uh, as the mining progresses. Oh, oh really? So oh, that's they're awesome. moving towns. That's yeah, pretty, they're so moving that's towns. Slick. That's that really cool. Slick. Yeah, I... they relocate every like 30, 40 years, uh, uh. depending on how good they're, uh, whatever. But I know Virginia, I think. You know, no, Cloquet, it's north of Cloquet, uh, but yeah, like there's a bunch of cities up there that will hmm. slowly move their their lines. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, they're yeah. following the vein. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they're following the vein. I actually took a tour of the only underground iron mine, and it's called it's in Sudan, Minnesota. It's just north of uh, Tower, Minnesota, right off of like Lake Vermilion. Mm -hmm. It's the only underground mine. It's one of the richest iron deposits in the world, right there, and we're not mining it right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah did you? It's a closed down mine. You were talking to me a while about all this iron mines and stuff in uh, Minnesota. Um... Dude, the Iron Range is like a beautiful place to go. Like, you see some so many really beautiful white pine trees, and like, all eagles love to nest in those trees. Uh... And they also trees to climb. But um, that's neither here nor there. But no, like, if you're ever going to go anywhere to Minnesota, go up into the Iron Range. Like, up there, like, you also have the Laurentian Divide. It's one of four divides in the United States where the, from right there, the Laurentian uh, water will stop going, flowing down to the Gulf of Mexico and flow to the Arctic Ocean. Yeah, I was watching something about that. Like, uh, there's one point where, like, the water goes one way and then the yep. water goes the other way. And, like, uh, yeah, and I actually, there's a spot where you can actually look and see where it does it. It's fucking crazy. Is that the same spot that feeds into the Colorado River, or am I thinking of somewhere else? Oh, no, well, this feeds, like, through, like, the Mississippi, like, so, like, you know, Mississippi River, like, actually starts, like, somewhere in, uh, north-central Minnesota. Mm. 
uh, but northern closer to like up towards like it, it starts off as scream. You can actually like put your legs across it. You can That's walk awesome. across it. And uh, yeah. then it flows down, and once it gets down into like the uh, like Missouri and shit, then you have like areas where the the, the river is like at like at minimal um, like it's like a mile wide. Dang. And but it's it's really only like only a few. It's not even a football field across uh, in a. Well, it could possibly be a football field across in some parts of like the Twin Cities, like Minneapolis and St. Paul, but it's not. But. Once you get into southern Minnesota, you start seeing it big, get bigger, and when it meets the St. Croix River that flows from, uh, I think, Lake Superior and off of the Wisconsin-Minnesota border, they meet down in Hastings, Minnesota. And you can actually look at an aerial view of that. You see a muddy river meet a, uh, a rock bed river, and so you have, like, this nice blue river hitting, like, just muddy. Yeah, and I've seen stuff like The like mixture is so exactly crazy. Better. Yeah, have you seen, like, you know, like, when freshwater rivers, you know, and, like, the salt water, like, you know, mix, and it's, like, you know, that, that blue yeah. line or something, like, that's, that's... Oh, yeah, well, there's actually an ocean where it's, like, there's actually salt water that's more dense on one part than the other, and yeah. so it shows yeah. that difference. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, let's keep the stream going here, speaking of rivers, uh, yeah. what happened in 1862, speaking of rivers, actually, like... Yep. Yeah, actually, yeah. In 1862, we have General Lee. He crosses the Potomac and enters Maryland. Yeah, the Potomac, and that's the river separating... The Potomac, yeah. I yeah. call it the Potomac. Potomac. <laughs> uh, but that's yeah, the river the separating uh, Virginia from Maryland, and that, you know, Maryland, that's where Washington, D.C. is. So, like, you know, I'm sorry, right I want to call it the Pontiac River. Pontiac River. <laughs> that sounds like a GT right there. That's, yeah, it uh, sounds like that sounds like a GTA reference from yeah. the All right. Oh shit! Actually, 1863. This is not highlighted, but it's in blue. But 1863 oh. is pretty fucking interesting. Well, there's. And some, I want to know more about it. This is in somebody else's wheelhouse, actually, and it's his turn. So yep. it's no hands. No so hands. Yeah. Yeah. It happened in Alabama. So hang on. Uh, 1863. The bad revolt in Mobile, Alabama is not my backyard. I'm from Louisiana. Well, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I know you're backyard. from Louisiana, but you're neck of the woods. Yeah, your area, like, you know, adjacent. Your, your, okay. so. your region. So who's, uh, so everybody's family members were, uh, revolting against bread? Well, everyone's family members were just revolting in general, but, you know. Well, let's see here. The Mobile Bread Riot, which occurred on this date in 1863 during the Civil War, was a result of rising prices and food shortages uh, caused by the U.S. Navy's blockade of Mobile Bay. The riot was a notable instance of dissatisfaction in Alabama with the course of the war. Huh. So that's, uh, so that's a good one in 1877, too. Ooh. Ooh, Southern, indeed. Southern bread riot. Southern blacks, oh, 1877, Southern blacks led by Pat Singleton settled in Kansas. Carry on, my wayward son. Carry on, my wayward son. <laughs> There'll be yeah, no more to carry on. What? Someone's supposed to say the rest of it. If I don't you cry no more. I guess so. Okay. Hey, there's a gasoline pump here and here. I found uh, yeah. it. Uh. Also, also, 1879, George Washington DeLong. American architect, explorer, and commander on board the Jeanette becomes trapped with his crew in pack ice during his attempt to reach the North Pole. That's dangerous. Ooh. That's very That's dangerous. dangerous. Because, like, it can crush the ship, you know, and then they, they can be then stranded and they can die. You know, that's very, very dangerous. So, yeah. Christian. Wait, guess what happened? Speaking of Labor Day, since today is Labor Day. There's yeah. one here for you, so I had 1882. Yeah. 1882, 10,000 workers march in first Labor Day parade in New York City. Ah. Now it's somebody else's turn. Well, look at that. Like, you know, this is a, a march, but it's a peaceful march. This isn't a protest or some kind of, like, violent thing. Well, they this could is be a celebrating. Yeah, no, this is a celebration. Like, you know, we don't report on too many of those, you know. I can say one thing. Get say back it. to work. <laughs> Get back to work. Classic hey. boss right here. <laughs> Xander. Yes. Is this your turn, Max? Uh, I believe you, it's... Like, no. I believe it's it... you, right? Like... No, I just oh, went in with oh. Sohan. Okay. It's, no, it's Scott, technically, but the, there's the 1887. 
one. It's not highlighted. And then there's also the remember I was talking about the first gasoline yeah. pump. Well, let's uh let's reset turns here because uh, like someone turned off his camera, so he he, he changed position. So like me, <laughs> you, Scott, and then Sohan. Is that cool, guys? All right, so yeah, I'm I starting can't... over. Okay, so I'll go on. 1885, we have the first gasoline pump was delivered to a gasoline dealer, specifically in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So, wow. And now we're trying to get rid of them. <laughs> no more yeah, gas Yeah, now they want to get rid of them. <laughs> well, California's trying to... Yeah, like, uh, I, I spoke about this earlier today, and, like, you know, people know about this. California, you know, in their infinite, amazing wisdom, uh, decides to, by 2035, have all gasoline-powered automobiles banned. And then two days later, we entered this excessive heat wave, and now they're telling people not to plug in their Teslas because all the ACs are going, and it's a strain on our... Like, dude, do you not see the problem that's coming? Like, hello? How about 1905? No, 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 because there's a there's a, there's a a big death here that happened in 1887, not to mention the RB. all women around the okay. world would be so happy about 1889. Okay, 1887, we have a gas lamp at the Theater Royal in... Exeter catched fire, killing about 200. Yep. Or caught fire. And thank you for the over the boulder shoulder holder creation. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, in 1889, we have German Christine Hart patented the first modern brassier, which is a bra. So. Women will thank you, men won't. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that's a big that's a big invention you know how my, how, how much that made women happy oh dude like out? you know you're Holy carrying crap. around what 10 pounds you know right I don't know here? about like, that because um, back in the day 10 pounds of wire, like probably pretty harsh on women with all those wires yeah well, well of course that's where harsh on women but I mean bras like those are nice yeah like I like having my girls held up you, you like what you talk to me when you have a double D chest okay Okay, so I, I just Google image search Brassier, and the first image here is like, I think that's a guy, but he's Man, wearing a what? very effeminate bra and he's ripped to hell. So what the fuck, dude, dude, dude. Also, dude, look at how bad that photoshopping is done on it. Yeah, there's another one over dude, here. Real. Like, what the? That's photoshop. Uh, that, that's weird. Um, anyway, uh, I think it's Alice's turn now. Probably. I really wish I could have done the brazier, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, you Probably wear one, so. Money. I thought 1905. In 1905, we got the Treaty of Portsmouth is signed in concluding the Russo-Japanese War. U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt will receive the Nobel PC Prize for his role as a mediator. Ah. I was talking about the 1905 before that, but well, wait a second. Oh, wait, what's, oh, what's, what's the oh which one? The blue one? one? What is it? Oh, are you talking about the hotel the 50 one? Fifty prominent men. Fifty prominent men. Yes. Oh, yeah. Fifty prominent men meet in Sydney, Australia hotel to found a national defense league fueled by fear of Japan after its victory over Russia in All 1905. Right. So that ties in with uh, uh, Me Cleaver's question here. He wanted to know what was the Russo-Japanese War. Um, on the surface level, it's a war between Russia and Japan, uh, but let's see here. Uh, it was fought between the Empire of Japan and the Russian Empire during 1904 and 1905 over rival imperial ambitions in Manchuria in the Korean Empire. Huh. So expansion. Damn. I knew they had a history, but I didn't realize they had a war. Oh yeah, no, they've had plenty of wars. Uh, they were having one, you know, during during World War II. They oh were, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I was talking outside that. It was 1904 yeah. or something. 1904 through 105, yeah. Hey, we got something from Waukesha, which, like, recently back in Christmas had that little drive-by. Oh, drive God. Mm. Yeah, the shooting. Ugh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, not the shooting. The, the, the guy drove through them. That's right. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You know things are bad when I start confusing my disasters, you know? <laughs> That's not good. Like, it's not good. Oh, did you hear but about no, the shooting? Actually a, this is actually a sports history, so... Yeah. Well, Alice, so, you have uh, two more, right? Or one more? Or so, I don't know anymore. I think I have, I think I have, yeah, I have one more because I did the other 1905, so okay. I have one more. So in 1906, we have St. Louis University. Actors. What? Huh? What? What? Oh, no. In 1906, we have St. Louis University quarterback Bradbury Robinson throws first illegal forward pass in history of American football for a touchdown to Jack Schneider at Carroll College in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Hey, it was wins twenty-two to nothing. Dang! First legal touchdown pass. 
apparently. Yeah, uh, the first legal forward pass. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, that's cool. I don't know what the forward pass is, but it sounds interesting. I think it's a pass that you go forward, you know? Yes. Like, so it's a back throw to the guys out in the field. So instead, of, instead of throwing it, it was basically a handoff, basically? No. No, it's a throw. No, they literally no, it's throw a it. It's a throw. It's a pass. In modern it's a football, you see the, the quarterback throw it to the left end or whatever. And he you catches it, he threw it to a so wide that's receiver. a forward pass. Yeah. So it was the first uh, touchdown in yeah. uh, American yeah. football history then. That's because cool. they originally were College. all running. They didn't pass the ball at all. College. Uh, College football. Yeah, and this is college. Well, no, actually uh, in American football history. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, the history of American football. So yeah. I would imagine that goes through all bases. Yeah, well. So. Yeah. Football oh, but is we do American have a meeting of interest here in yeah. 1907. Football is a world sport. Yeah. 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 Uh, Scott, if you're not driving. Oh, that's fine. All right. 1907, King Edward VII of Great Britain meets Russia's foreign minister, Alexander Izvolsky, in an attempt to strengthen Russia's relationship with Britain. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I think it would be a good in our best interest to have a good relationship with Russia. Absolutely. Like I'm not a Russian sympathizer, but like I would think it would be a smart idea that we would have better relationship with them, especially with the ongoing things going on in the world. But you know, yeah. beggars can't be choosers. No, absolutely right. Think, like, we need better yeah, relations someone... all around the world. Well, isn't Russia's like GDP the same size as like you know? It's pretty small. Like, like what? Uh... Rhode Island or something like it's really small. Yeah, it's weird. It's for such a high populated area and such a big, massive country, you know. And they have a lot. They are, Russia also has like I think they have the second largest iron deposit. Uh, oh, they have all kind. They have. The yeah, they have stuff. a They're lot the big, of resources, they're... and for us to play this fucking cat and mouse game with them is yeah. really bad. Yeah. Like yeah. I don't care what our animosity was like. Oh, so they were once former. Uh, communists they're not anymore I think and they are, the fact know. that I think that we should we should have put them in, let them be part of uh, the UN if, but I think it's a smart thing not to be part of the UN I don't think the United States should be part of the UN to be well, honest well the UN was like you know more or less the same thing as NATO like everything was against Russia so yeah Russia has uh, probably Indeed, the biggest diamond them. deposits there are yeah and uh, when the De Boers who own a lot of diamond mines and everything beers? else. The beers, yeah. yeah. Uh, they did a subtle kind of a commercial promotion from China, from Russia, just opening up and showing all the diamonds they had mined from their diamond. And the De Beers had to pretty well shut up for a while. Yeah. Because it's only, uh, uh, diamonds are just an illusion of value. We make them valuable. Yeah, they really they're really they like they're, 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 great for, uh, they're great for drill bits, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. diamonds, like, you know, diamonds are actually one of the most common things on this planet. It's artificial scarcity. Like, the whole thing about, you know, like, you know, wedding rings and engagement rings, that's all part of a massive uh, commercial campaign yeah. by the De Beers. And it, it, it's all it's all crap. It's all crap. Come on. Pretty so, diamonds. Pretty diamonds. You want to know who's a precious gemstone? My birthstone. The sapphire. Oh, oh yeah, that's beautiful. That's stuff. a that's a fiery stone right there. Oh, it also comes in more colors than any other gemstone too. Ah. Uh, uh, like blue is a, it's most really known as blue, but you can see you can find white, you can find amber, you can find pink, you can find red, you can find orange. I mean, sapphire comes in many colors. Every color under the rainbow. To summarize it up, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a very versatile stone. Like, and I actually think it's more precious than a diamond. Like, Wait. if I ever got married, I'd be like, you better put a sapphire ring on it. <laughs> Wait, does that, hawker, mean, baby. does that mean the sapphire is the official gemstone of the Alphabet Mafia? No. <laughs> Fuck out. <laughs> Mr. Scott, uh, 1914, or you any other anymore. Word? Scott, you there? Yeah. 1914, U.S. President Woodrow Wilson <sighs> ordered U.S. Navy to make its wireless stations accessible for any transatlantic communications, even to German diplomats sending coded messages, leads to interception of the Zimmerman telegram, helping oh. U.S. into war. Yes. Now, I know this uh, directly. The Zimmerman telegram, which I believe some of you, if not all, already know a, bit, a little bit about this, 
This was so, during the First World War. Germany sent a telegram to Mexico, uh, utilizing this this thing. You know, as uh, trying to like you know tr- like utilize uh, a way to not ring any alarm bells. You know, so if they tried to send it another way, and we intercepted it, we'd be like, hey, what are they doing with this? Like you know, so they're they're using this. You know, even though that they're using um, uh, like you know, an oh, enemy's uh, you know system. Um, they're trying to just like you know, get under the radar and anything, and it says here uh, that the uh, the British intercepted it. It was um, Germany sending you know this to Mexico, requesting them to start a uh, a border conflict with the United States to keep them distracted and out of the war in Europe. Um, now. Uh, the Britons weren't all like, you know, oh, look at what we just found. You know, no, they actually held on to it for like a week and utilized it to their advantage to try to persuade the U.S. to join them. Be like, hey, look at what German's doing, you know? Like, there's a whole thing around it and a bunch of, like, espionage and all that stuff, and it's a really interesting tidbit of history. So, huh. Xander, thank yeah. you for totally that. off subject, but maybe your dad will probably catch this one, maybe not. You probably will, too. Telegram from Mongo! Telegram from Mongo. Hey, candy gram from Mongo. Yep. This is Mongo. This is Mongo. Mongo. <laughs> it blew up. Yeah. Mongo hey, that, that's, how we got, that's how we got Mongo's respect, and he got an ally, you know? Sometimes you yeah, just gotta Yeah, I, I love that. I love how he comes up going, Telegram from Mongo. Telegram from Mongo. He's got Mongo. the seat on everything. <laughs> yeah. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm making He's a Blazing, Blazing Saddles reference. Blazing yeah. Saddles, yeah. Great in peace to the guy who played Mongo. Yeah. Telegram from Mongo. Yeah. It's a race. It's a racist movie. Yeah. Dude, dude, glad you did it. That's not Hello, racist. boys. Look what I got. Hey, where the white women at? Yeah. <laughs> I think Scott has one more here, and this is a prominent figure. 1915, Tsar Nicholas II, distressed by increasing Russian losses, assumed personal command of his nation's military forces, clearly a symbolic act and devastating for his leadership. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, like, uh, this is, uh, like, right before, uh, you know, uh, the, um, uh, uh, Lenin came to power and everything with the, uh, the Marxism, you know, communist uprising and everything. So, well, well, isn't this, uh, isn't, isn't he the father of Anastasia? Uh, that sounds maybe, right. Yeah. That sounds right. Nicholas? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that sounds yeah. about right, yeah. But you can see here he's pissing off the military leadership. That weakens him severely yeah. for uh, Lenin and Stalin, anybody come in. And... Yeah, Yeah. well, yeah, his whole family was yeah. essentially murdered. Oh, yeah. So there would be no, no bloodline left. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Mr. Sohan, 1916. 1916. Intolerance, silent film directed by D.W. Griffin. Stars Vera Lewis and Ralph Lewis is released. <laughs> Dang. What, with the silent film piano playing. Ah. I don't know how many times I have to remind you that my great grandmother, or my great great grandmother, she was a pianist for silent films and they were never given, they weren't ever really given uh, sheet music to play. They oh. had to play. They had to play on the fly while watching. So they're watching it, and what 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 fits in with the film? Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. that's how yeah. that's how it worked. I, I like, had yeah, no my idea. Dad, that's that's what my dad was me. They never, yeah, they never gave sheet music out to them. So like, every time you went was a different experience with the music going with those sound. Oh. That's really cool. Yeah, actually, I had no idea. Like ad libbing piano. That's, yeah. Like, well, I never I'm knew. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong, but this is something I remember my dad telling me when I was a kid. So, I mean, maybe, like, operator in my own brain over the years might be off, but I'm pretty damn sure, but they weren't given sheet music. There's like, just play. Huh. So they're watching the film and have, well, and if you know anything about piano players, it, you're not supposed to have sheet music. You're not supposed to, you're not supposed to look at your fingers when playing. So, and if you've learned something enough and, like, you have the right amount of chords to go with what's going on, it's really crazy how the music goes, like, dee 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 it's like every time you see a silent film, they have that same song going over. Yeah. It's because they only recorded those particular ones, like when they had sound of how they went, or they added in an old honky time uh, piano thing to what was going on in the films. Oh, that's, so, that is okay. really cool. I did not know that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The more you know. Boop, yeah. Boop, boop. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Sohan, uh, 1916. 1916. 
U.S. National Championship Men's Tennis or Norris Williams beats Bill Johnston 4-6, 6-4, 0-6, 6-2, 6-4 for his second and final U.S. singles crown. Nice. Like, yeah. isn't it is it like what is it like if it's 15 0 it's like something 15 love i don't get the whole scoring points on kind of love 15 30 40 game uh, do you want to repeat that <laughs> love is zero 15 is the first score then 30 is the second score then then it goes to 40 and then it's the game and then you got to win okay, so six games in a set and then you got to win five sets three of five sets oh wow so they're playing like 50 times that's See, insane. When, they, when this was four to six, each one of those went 15, 30, 40 games. Okay, so that's 10 games right there. 10 games, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's wow. a lot of games. Wow, screw that, man. Hey. Jesus. No wonder uh, why. Yeah, you yeah. Play. You know what? I, I, have, I think I gained just a slight bit more respect for tennis, but yeah. same time, it's tennis. <laughs> hey, at right least you are. <laughs> we can all agree it's not cricket. <laughs> there you go. It's a step up. You know up what? For sure. I would actually love to play cricket because it's like baseball in a way. But I'd be like, I bet you, like, I go out to England one day and like, hey, you want to play cricket? I'm like, sure. So I'm getting there all ready, like I'm a baseball player. Yeah. And I just like launch it up, like, hey, and I just go doing the diamond run. Oh and I'm like, what God. are you doing? You're supposed to run in a oval. The You're supposed oval. to run around those two things. Yeah, just push them back and forth from them until they come back, and I think they strike. It, it's a form of baseball, but huh. it's a really weird form of it. Well, I know where but, we yeah, upset Alice. Yeah, argue that baseball is derived from cricket. Huh. That I makes think. sense. I think we need to give Alice a assignment. Go find out what all this is about. Yeah. <laughs> so you can decode it the next time it comes up. Bad. <laughs> talent, talent, accept it. Uh oh, <laughs> what did I do? We're gonna be talking about cricket now. Oh no! Okay. Why are you giving yeah, what, no. what did you I do? How... Why are you oh, helping okay. her Here's talk more? Thing. Here's a fun thing. I'll probably give my stepmom a phone call because if, if it's not cricket that they're big about in New Zealand, I mean, uh, I mean, if it's not uh, it's rugby, rugby, yeah, if it's not rugby out there, it's gonna be probably cricket and football. What about lacrosse? I don't know, but they also are really big in sailing. So, like they love, like you know, they always have like the uh, the world championship sailing races. Yeah, yeah. They always oh, happen yeah. right out, out outside of New Zealand. So oh, New Zealand choose it yeah. on say uh, racing, sail racing. Yeah. Yeah, sail racing. Yeah, like they have a uh, yeah every year they have one. And New Zealand won it a few years in a row, like a decade ago, I think. Well, I think My dad thought has... I need to know this, but like yeah. the use of bits of information but we should move on yeah 1921 mr yes. about to do uh eight 1918 okay decree on red terror is published in russia decree on oh, yeah. red terror the decree on red terror was published in russia so let's see here on red terror uh it was a campaign of political repression and executions carried out by the bolsheviks chiefly through yes, the, the cheka probably the red army yeah it's red against the Red Army, I guess. Yeah, the Red Terror. Um, uh, chiefly through the Cheka, the Bolshevik secret police, it started in late August 19... What is that sound? Uh, Sohan. Sohan. Oh, my God, I hear... Back. I hear... Yeah. Uh, Sohan, I just... Uh, I server muted you. I'll, I'll unmute you in here in a minute. Um... It started in late August of 1918, after the beginning of the Russian Civil War, and lasted until 1922. So maybe, uh, when we were talking about Tsar Nicholas earlier, like this, so so this is uh, the war, the communist uprising has already begun. Yeah. So this oh, is, yeah. For yeah. Sure. So Did you guys, what, what year are you in? The Bolsheviks. 1915, no, 1918. So uh, are you talking about the World War One? Um, Baseball World Series? Uh, or are you no. talking about the decree of on on Red Terror? We're talking about the decree on Red Terror. Um, and uh, so, like, because it's saying here, the Red Terror, it started in, like, 1915, right? Uh, oh, no, it started in late August 1918. And it lasted until 1922. So, oh, okay. So lasts okay. a few years. So I, I guess this, this didn't have anything to do with uh, Nicholas uh, doing what he did earlier. That was during the war. It was uh, the First World War. Nothing with this. Well, it was right after it, though. Yeah. 
Uh, anyway, let's, uh... But that's gotta be a power grab by the Bolsheviks. Mm. Yeah. I hear a, a, a like a leaf blower. Yeah, it's a vacuuming. Uh, let's see. You're moving on up into. Um, let's see here. Well, actually, the one in 1918, the second one, yeah. because it, it, it has sports, but it has something to do with World War One. All right, 1918. Due to the First World War, the 15th Baseball World Series began a month early. The Boston Red Sox defeated the Chicago Chicago Cubs one to none at Comiskey Park. Oh, huh. Started a month early. That's that interesting. interesting. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. 1921. Walter Johnson set a Major League Baseball strikeout mark at 2,287. That's a lot of strikeouts right that's there. A lot of strikeouts. Damn. Yeah. He's a pitcher, so so that's yeah. good. So yeah. You don't want to be a batter and have that. <laughs> no. That's a that's a bad number. Oh my god, dude! Look at 1923. That one's hilarious. 1923. <laughs> Flyweights Gene LaRue and Kid Pancho knock out each other simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been a sight. Well, boom! Wow. Then, uh, 1925, 112 degrees, or 44 degrees centigrade, or ce Celsius, not centigrade, uh, in Centerville, <laughs> Alabama, state record. So, wow. I am. And it's 86 degrees right now. Oh, dude, oh. hey, dude, you get to take this Jaqua this time. Do one yep. more. And then in 1929, we have a French premier, uh, Aristide Briand, request a United States of Europe. Hmm, look at that. Huh. So that sounds like, uh, um, like, uh, what later became, uh, the, the EU. Yeah, the European Union. Yeah, uh, but they did a poor, ver poor version of, like, yeah. what we yeah, did. Yeah, they sure did. Yeah, it's basically like, yeah, the EU is just an off-brand of the United States, if you ask me. Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> Controversy. Hmm. I'm going to get cancelled for that. <laughs> yeah. Cancel. You can't cancel the already cancelled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are the cancelled new uh, history I was show. Canceled. I was cancelled before there was social media, so yeah. go fuck yourselves, guys. Alice, it's your turn. So, okay, well, we have a couple here that are highlighted, but I think, because I will end with 1939 with FDR here, but in 1932, the French Upper Volta is broken apart between the Ivory Coast, French Sudan, and Niger. Huh. Uh, French Upper Volta. That sounds yeah, like a colony. Yeah, up, oh. yeah, French Upper Volta. Yeah, so it must have been like a huge colony about in Africa because obviously yeah, the Ivory Coast yeah. is part of Africa, if yeah. I remember cor yeah. correctly. Yeah. you're right. So is Sudan, which is now what you have. Uh, isn't Sudan broken in two? Or is it back to being one? Uh, I guess it, that, that okay, I yeah, there's know. a northern I, or southern I think there is a <laughs> South Sudan. Yeah, well, because that's what I was thinking, because, like, also there's two, like, there's three different variants of the Ebola virus, and there's a northern, I think, or western, I don't, or southern, I, I can't remember, and then I think, I think it was the Zaire, well, I could be wrong, I, I'm really bad, because the countries keep changing from when I last, like, really, like, studied that map, was back in, like, high school, and well, I keep the change, so... But I, I believe that I think there are two or three strains of the Ebola, but uh, Sudan uh, is based off of uh, at least one or two of them. Well, so, looking at here, Sudan right. is south of Egypt, and there still is South Sudan, which is uh, just west of Ethiopia. Okay. All right. So yeah. Okay. Well, we also have uh, in 1937 Spanish Civil War, Lanes Falls. Il huh. Il Ilana? Lani's Falls? Oh, so a city falls in, uh, during the Spanish Civil War. Actually, it's a double L, so it'd be Yanis. Yanis? Yanis Falls. Yeah, double L, falls. In, uh, double L in Spanish is, uh, is a yeah. yes sound. <laughs> Spanish Spanish, not like Mexican Spanish. Well, Mexican Spanish is derived from Spanish Spanish. Yeah, but they still have different dialects to oh, a degree. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going by, you know, my, uh... Yeah, so Yanis, so Yanis falls in the Spanish Civil War in 1937. Yeah. I'm just going and by then, my... I mean, my what? Poor, Go ahead. I'm just going by my poor Spanglish knowledge, you know? All right, fair enough. I mean, you are from California, so... Yeah, I mean. if you don't know some Spanish, you get shot, you know? So, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the rule out here. 
So uh, I'm gonna skip. Yeah, I'm gonna go to FDR here. 1939, he declares U.S. neutrality at start of World War II in Europe. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, well, we know how that, how'd that work out. And not well. Let me know if my uh, turn comes up back. Joining. Scott has a fun fact. No, I was just saying. Let me know when my turn comes back. Uh, well, it's your turn now. It's just you've about, missed a few. but I need to do the split here. We are 51 minutes in, so let's see. Back to we are in now, part two. It is uh, Sir Scott's turn, starting us off in, unless otherwise, uh, his decision, 1939, this uh, historic event here. 1939, J.B.M. Herzog resigns as South African Prime Minister after losing a vote in Parliament on neutrality in World War II. Two. World War II. Yeah. Damn. Uh, so on the same day that uh, our president like says we're, neut we're neutrality, this guy mm -hmm. gets fucked over down in South Africa. Yeah. Well, that was a colony, and uh, like um, like right before the Second yeah, World War. That was a British War colony. Yeah, right before the outbreak of the Second World War, Italy actually invaded and conquered uh, Ethiopia, I believe. So I believe it was Ethiopia. Well, you also had Germany in like. Uh, Fucking Casablanca, and that was like what Morocco. Well, that was because though, that was an Italian, co uh, an Italian colony. So the Germans were uh, backing up their allies because Italy was just yeah. laughably not prepared for the Second World War at all. So, yeah. No, they weren't. Well, Mussolini that's why we had... was a very dumb guy. Yeah, well, that's why we had you know all the Africa campaign and everything. Germany didn't have any stake in there. It was all Italy. That was all Italy stuff, and then Germany went Germany in there. Germany was you know? interested in was like the occult and something with like you know Egypt, ancient Egyptian like lore and oh, stuff. Oh, well, that so. yeah, that might be a thing as well. You know, they did they were in no, Egypt. No, was a thing. Yeah. Anyway, it was a thing. They Germany spent a lot of money on that shit. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Looking for like the Holy Grail and all that stuff. So, and actually, uh, and then, my, then I, Indiana I, Jones intervened. Yeah, that's right. And he, like he got a signed copy, like or he he got his a journal signed by Adolf Hitler himself. <laughs> that was hilarious. Well, and that was funny part, that, that was funny. Like Hitler had the, the 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 what he was looking for in his hand. He didn't even realize it. You know. Yep. Uh, Sign and, it, and then you can throw it and burn it with the book burnings. Yeah. Uh, Scott. Gotcha. Also 1939, New Zealand Prime Minister Michael Joseph Savage declares New Zealand support for Britain in the war with Germany. Savage famously told the nation, where she goes, we go. Where she stands, we stand. Yeah, New Zealand, between New Zealand and Australia, they are like per capita for uh, casualties during World War II. New Zealand and Australia sustained the most casualties of, uh, as to like the British, the Americans, and everything. Really? Considering population difference. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right. No, I got yeah. You. Australia and New Zealand suffered massive casualties. You basically like one in every three people you walk on the street will say they had a family member that died in World War Two. Jesus. I mean, yeah. like, like World War Two was so vast. Like everybody has some grandparent or something that fought in there like I yep. my great granddad Bill he was actually like a little old for the time but he flew in the Japanese theater uh, the Pacific theater during World War II uh, got shot down a few times was a POW at least once you know yeah. uh, my cousin Perry has all of his medals so my dad he nearly escaped Vietnam but uh, because of a back and neck injury he sustained uh, on prom night when his uh, the driver fell asleep at the wheel and they had a rollover. Oh man! Bad. So and plus he was in college, uh, pursuing something. So he oh, because of the medical issue and that he wasn't drafted. Otherwise my dad would have been there. Yeah. Uh, Same with mine. You know, my dad almost got drafted, but he got out due to uh, like a, a medical condition. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> Declared unphysically fit. Yeah. Six three two twenty. <laughs> You know, yeah, well, playing you know, all kinds of sports. You know, I think. But uh, I found a loophole. I don't think. I don't think it was because you were unphysically fit. They were just being kind on the paper. I think it was mental. Yes, that's they what I'm saying. Mental. Thank yes. you. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, I, I tried I to enlist you. when I was younger, and I could because of my mental health. Yeah. Anyway, uh, is it Scott one more? 1944. Gotcha. 1944, British. British Premier Winston Churchill travels to Scotland. Ah. 
I, uh, I should have elaborated. I should have said Mad Tuesday because that looks interesting. Yeah, I was just looking at that one. Yeah. But I was also looking at the 1942 as well. Uh, the British and U.S. Yeah, bomb that's, that's okay. You know, like, you know, we don't need to report on every bombing. What's the Mad you know? Tuesday? Um, Scott, do you want to take Mad Tuesday? And then we'll go to Sohan if he's not vacuuming. Yeah, because there's a, a lot that has happened on this day. We still have a while to go. Right. Oh, my yeah. God. 1944, Mad Tuesday. 65,000 Dutch Nazi collaborators flee to Germany. Dang. That's a hell of an exodus right there. 65,000, yeah. Yeah. Jeez. That sounds like an everyday occasion from the southern border. Yeah. <laughs> a, sl a slow day, yeah. A slow day. Oh, my God. A slow day. Like, uh, like, All like, right, let's move on up, I'm just guys. imagining like that Ooh. meme of like you know getting flashbacks. Oh, Neptune. <laughs> uh, Sohan, are you there? Sohan, I think he's MIA. Um, he, yeah, I did unmute him. He's not muted. Uh, yeah, so, why don't you uh, why don't you uh, start off? With oh, wait, one. wait, there he is. All right, cool. Sohan, 1946. Let me get to it. All right. While we wait, I'm gonna do a little dance. Yes, dance, monkey. Hey, I got my Grove Street hands. Got Grove Street hands. That's kind of offensive, dance, monkey. <laughs> well, you guys are screwing off. I gotta tell you, 1946, a great year. Yes, yeah, it is. <laughs> yes, it was. Close. Hey, a great year. year. It's 1960, right? 1946. <laughs> okay, good. 1946. Okay. <laughs> Well, you guys are screwing yeah, off today. Happened. 1946. While you guys are screwing off, this is my birthday. Okay. Oh, shit. Wow. Um, is it? <gasps> it is. Um, is it? Hey, is somebody going to read this place? I thought you were after. I thought you... 1946. Mongolf. Head of alcohol. Plaz Sal. Concentration camp found guilty of imprisonment, torture, and extermination of individuals and groups of people. The first conviction of homicide at a war crimes court. Wow. Oh, jeez. Amon yeah. Goff. Schindler's yeah. List. Ooh, Schindler's List. Okay, yeah. Hey, another, you know what the crazy now thing is? No, Alice thought you were saying it was your birthday. No, no it's oh, no, not my birthday. No, uh, Ralph Fiennes, he preferred this guy, I think. Yes, and the thing is, the woman who was a survivor was scared because she said he resembles Armand Goff so much. Dang. Scared I mean, him. Way is what, yeah, he looked just like him. Mm. It, it was crazy. Yeah, like, that was a bad movie. Anyway. I have not <laughs> seen oh, oh. Schindler's List, so... Yeah. Nineteen forty six, Obi Gargola played his first major league baseball game in his hometown of St. Louis. Two RBIs in Cardinals win over Chicago Cubs. And before okay. you ask, I know what RBI stands for. <laughs> okay, uh, let us know what. Runnings, battings, ins, something like that. <laughs> runs batted in. <laughs> runs batted in, not batting or running. It's just runs. I'm in. getting there. <laughs> Close. I am proud of you. Way to go, Xander. I'm so maybe. proud. Dad has never called me yeah, Xander maybe before. If I That's, that my was name strange. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to think about this. Dude, we I'll be happy if my name is a runs bad in your discord. Hold on a second. It's a crowning achievement. One at a time, yeah, one please. More. One, one at a time. time. We, have, we have one in 1948. It's not blue. Yeah, I got one but more. We got the tennis one. All right. What's up, Sohan? Go ahead. I wasn't going to read the tennis one. The tennis one's lame. I was going to read the, in 1948, yep. France, Robert Schulman become president of the council while being foreign minister. As such, he is the negotiator of the major treaties of the end of World War II. Oh, wow. wow. That's, that's a huge position. Why is no, that not remember. highlighted? Wow. You know. Yeah, you know, why is that not highlighted? You know I don't know, but I'm glad I caught it. What we gotta do is we gotta we gotta hack this website, take it over, and like start doing what's right and highlight the right things, you know? Like, Xander. Yes. I'm guarantee cricket never comes up. <laughs> Hold on, Scott's trying to say something. What up, dude? 
I was just gonna say, if I change my name to Runs Batted In on Discord, I'm sure you'll get it. <laughs> Eventually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Although, like, uh... Running batting, I love it. Yeah. Although the, uh, the, and, like, what's it called, the, the, like, uh... I don't even know how to, how to describe what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, that's my three. The, the list, the, the, the thing, the, the single, double, triple, home oh. run, the... Oh, you're talking about the... Cycle. the uh, the cycle. The cycle, yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. Hit for the cycle. All right. Uh, 1951, U.S. National Championship Men's Tennis, Fort Hills, New York. Frank Sedman of Australia defeated U.S. Vic Sakes 6-4, 6-1, 6-1 to for his first of two straight U.S. singles crowns. And 1951 as well, U.S. National Championship Women's Tennis at Forest Hills, New York. Maureen Connolly won her first of nine Grand Slam singles titles, defeating fellow U.S. Shirley Fry, 6-3, 1-6, 6-4. And then, um, 1953, we have the first privately operated atomic reactor at Relay, North Carolina. I remember that. Um, actually, Raleigh. Scott, yeah, Raleigh. Scott, well, we were watching, um, we were watching one of uh, my old shows, and uh, I think we spoke about that. Hmm. I don't know. Or I spoke about that. Like, that, from 2016, you know, like, like way back. I think I remember talking about that. Hmm. Or, actually, no. Uh, I saw it in the lineup. Um, and actually, if you don't mind, I'd like to watch one of my old shows again today, like, after the show. Um, sure. But the, that's... Uh, no, I'm not. Yeah, that's, uh, that's my three there, Miss Alice. Well, I'm going to move to 1957 because I find this intriguing. All right. We have On the Road by Jack Kerouac. It's published by Viking Press in New York. Uh -huh. On the Road again. Uh, uh, yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Scott, but it's actually a book. So Yeah, yeah I didn't, book. I would, that's just when I read that, that's what I think. But. No, that's what I thought too. Jack on Kerouac, the road again. Wait a minute. Then we have, in 1957, we have Cuban dictator Valencio Batista. Bombs and uprising in Cien Legos. You passed up 1956, 20 die in a train crash? Oh, God. Oh. Well, Alice, Alice, how did you miss that? I am disappointed in you. I am disappointed in you, young lady. Like, how how do you, Lady Death, not see a death, you know, thing there? Come on, <laughs> Alice. Thing there? <laughs> yeah. Article. Wah, wah, wah. Dys dyslexia. <laughs> well, we know it's not Les Dixia, you know. Well, so. somebody read it. Alice, go. Yeah, I will read it. We have a 1956, 20 people die in a plane crash in Springer, no, New Mexico. Yes. Dang. Man. Well, yeah, but that is some, that is some, that I kept seeing, like, uh, news stations, and it just kind of, like, got blended in. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. Because, like, you know, you see that, yeah. I, I, I was like, what? Ah. And then I saw Jack Kerouac. I was like, ooh. So, those are my three. So, we got, what, we got 1957 here. As um, well. Yeah, we have several 1957s. No, 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 I don't need to do that one. That, my three. Okay. Scott. 1957. Yugoslavia bans Milovan the Helis book, New Class Marine Officers. Huh. Let's see here, new class marine officers. It sounds like you know, like a, like some kind of like um, textbook or something. Officers book. Let's see here, marine officers guide. Uh, I don't think this is the right one. Uh, what year was this? 1957. So let me look. Book. 1957. Uh, okay. Uh, combined lineal list of officers uh, on active duty in the. Marine. Well, I'm not getting anything. Oh. Well, six marina. I'm not getting anything. So this is just maybe it is just like you know a, a, some kind of like handbook or something for. Yeah. Huh. That's Hollywood. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Anyway. 19, 1958 Doctor Zhivago novel by Boris Pasternak publishes. Oh, okay. Hmm. Doctor Zhivago. Yeah. Huh. I have not heard about book, that. But a great movie. Uh, uh, I had a uh, record of it. Ah. Pretty awesome. And, oh, here we go. 
1958 The Huckleberry Hound Show by Hanna-Barbera featuring Yogi Bear US TV I say boo boo <laughs> yeah Hanna Barbera, they're playing both of their names right there, William Hanna and Joseph Bar. Yep. Yeah, the Huckleberry Hound Show. That was a. Yep. I, I used to see that on, on Boomerang. So that was that was good stuff. 1958, right after, it's kind of cool. Oh uh, yeah, 58. Yeah, that one is cool. I could read it. I think it's. Go for 1958. It. 1958 first color video recording on magnetic tape presented. Charlotte, North Carolina. Well, that's cool. First yeah. color well, video uh, recording. The beginning of color TV, basically. Yep. Well, didn't color TV start in like 1926 or something? Like, we read about that a while ago. I oh, video it, recording. Video. Like, well, like a VHS. Or, well, yeah. you know. Or yeah. maybe this was one of those discs. Remember they had those discs, too? You know? The laser the discs. Discs? Yeah. Yeah, like between that and the VHS, and then VHS was fighting. Uh, well, no, you had Beta too. Yeah, well, Beta Max was an audio thing, but I do know that. Um, or am I? No, Beta Max was the video thing, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm no, thinking I'm of HRS, the audio I was thing. Than a VHS. Probably also, there was reel to reel. Yeah. Hey, I remember going over to my friend's house. They got a color TV. Yeah. Oh, it was amazing. Watch something in color. Yeah. I think it was called like yeah. Technicolor back then. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Technicolor. Uh, so, Ed, your turn. 1960? Unless Alice finds something else interesting. Oh. No. I'm, I'm actually right now. Uh, what year? I got 1960. 1960? Yes. First one? Uh, yeah, uh, sports history. Actually, both are pretty good. In 1960, A.J. Foyt wins the first of 70, 67 uh, Indy car victories at Ukeon, Illinois State Fairgrounds. Huh. Okay, well, that's and cool. And here's another one. Yeah, here's that, another one. That's the Indy 500. Uh, 1960, Cassius that's Clay, also known as Ali, beats the European champion, the Bingyu Petrovsky of Poland, by unanimous points decision to win Olympic oh, that's what, yeah. heavyweight boxing gold medal at the Rome Games. Okay, that's that's when he won the gold medal. Okay. Ah. He, he eventually ditches them too. Petrich Zikowski. Also, ooh, I got three good ones. 1960, the future world middleweight boxing champion Nino Ventaferti of Italy beats Yuri Rodayak of the Soviet Union to win welterweight gold medal at the Rome Olympics. Cool. Okay. Dude, these are all great. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Indubitably. 1960 as well, we have an election of interest. Poet Leopold Sidar Senghor was elected as the first president of Senegal. Huh. Well, that's Why cool. does that make me think of Bugs Bunny? Like, Leopold. 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 Oh yeah, when he was like being the the, the, the conductor. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. 1960 <laughs> as well as well as well as well. We can't get out of this thing. We have a president Kasa Vubu fired Premier Patrice Lumumba of Congo. Hmm. 365 days later, getting into 1961, JFK began underground nuclear testing. Oh yeah, we never show we never showed uh, a ghost that nuke video. Like uh, like every nuclear explosion since 1945 through yeah, 1990. Right. We did not. No. But, uh, Alice, you get uh, Mr. Lewis here again. Oh, uh, I gotta pass for a second. Um, I just got like a really bad like wave of a headache real quick. And okay. Like a, so. Uh, How right. about the one after that? Cluster headache going on right now, like right by my left temple. Dang. <laughs> well, take an How aspirin or something. One? I will. Right so. after that? Uh, go ahead, well, Scott, your turn. Just, just right after 1961, U.S. President JFK signs a law against hijacking. Death penalty. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that's wow. when, yeah, they first started hijacking uh, jetliners. I think they went to uh, Cuba originally, but I think the first one went to Cuba, if I'm not mistaken. 
Uh, let's see here. First, commercial jet hijacking. Uh, first hijacking of a commercial flight occurred on the Cathay Pacific Miss Macau on July 16th, 1948. Well, that's, that's way earlier, yeah. Yeah, after this incident and others in the 1950s, airlines recommended that flight crews comply with the hijacker's commands rather than risk a violent confrontation. 48 way earlier. Yeah. Hijacker. Yeah. Okay. Well, you thought that was like the first one. So. Yeah, I, uh, I just assumed the American yeah. one would be the first one. Apparently not. No. Oh, oh you, guys, you guys would like to jump for me. I would not like to jump for you. I, I would not like to jump for myself, actually. For you uh, either. What the heck? Yeah, like, so in, it has some weird, like, something playing. Uh, Scott. Yep. Go ahead. Another uh, Jerry Lewis telethon. Here we go. 1966. Oh. Jerry Lewis first muscular dystrophy Labor Day to raises one million. This was the first one, the absolute first. Hmm. Yeah, it says right there. That's the pretty first. good. Yeah. For 19, look at that. 1966. That's almost like 10 million in today's money, right? Or what is it again? Uh, let me look. Let's do it. Let's see here. Yeah, one is one million dollars. One million value. 1966. Let's see here. It would be, wow, you're close. $9,145,401.23 today. Pretty darn good. Really close. Scott, you were just an amalgamy wealth of knowledge and information that I never thought possible. Like, you know, you're, you surprise me every day, you know, wow. with this. You really do. Same with Alice, so and, you know, my dad. Like, I try, man. <laughs> you succeed, you know? I much appreciate it. Gosh. Yeah. Such a nice guy you are, Xander. Oh, oh no, Dude, I'm an it asshole. It's trying to affect oh. my eye. Okay, my left stop eye feels like Okay, next. Uh, one more, Mr. Scott. All right, we'll just go to the next highlighted. Hold on, 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 Fuck is that not highlighted? That is a big yeah. event in history right there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the Munich. Uh, the yeah, the Philly, Munich. Yeah, you can't yeah. not highlight that. That's, yeah. That's just, that's that to me is like yesterday. Yeah. yeah. That was just huge. Now you know why I'm getting really pissed off at our source here. Like, well, obviously they have a political agenda. Yeah. Huh. I'm pretty sure we. Still alive, for, but my brother had not yet yet been born. 1972. Didn't they? They still had the Olympics, even though that happened. I'm pretty sure we talked about this. Well, like they were having the Olympics, and then uh, it was they, during the Olympics. Yeah. This was during the Olympics. Yeah, it was um, during the Olympics. They, they killed like, an entire, like almost an entire team. Uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, do you remember? Did they continue on with the Olympics, or did they just end I'm, it? I'm trying to think. I believe, and I can't <laughs> can't really remember for sure, but I believe they continued on, but it disrupted the That's whole thing. That's what I thought. Let's see here. Yeah, it's vastly uh, disrupted. Hey, well, I just uh, searched, uh, did the Munich Olympics continue after the massacre? And it's not telling me yes or no. It's just telling me, you know, the wiki and all that stuff. Um, why won't it tell me? Like, this is weird. Yeah. Wasn't it their soccer team or something? Uh, I have no idea. Um, Munich massacre. Um... They went into the yeah. Israeli, uh, in Israeli, uh, yeah. dorms. Yeah. They raided the Israeli dorms. Cut yeah, they just started cut killing cut them. Cut nothing like, like that had ever happened. There hadn't been terrorist attacks or anything ever before, really. At least that public. And, yeah. uh, just cut everybody flat. Yeah. Flat. <laughs> yeah, so this happened between September 5th and 6th, 49 years ago, in 1972. Uh, hostage taking, mass shooting, and massacre. Uh, 17 total deaths, uh, 15, 12 victims, and 5 perpetuators. 6 Israeli coaches, 5 Israeli athletes, 1 West German police officer, and 5 Black September members. So, it's not like. Uh, I put the link to this wiki in the underbar for anybody who's interested in actually answering the question that we can't seem to figure out. Um, anyway, uh, Mr. Sohen, your turn if you are there. I guess he's not. Uh, I'm going to move us up into 1975. The first assassination attempt on U.S. President Gerald Ford occurred by Lynette Squeaky from in Sacramento, oh, California. 
Oh, of course it happens here, because why not? So. Well, squeaky either frog. Texas squeaky or, frog. Either Texas or you, or where was Abraham? Abraham? Was that, wasn't that in, uh, uh, I can't remember where he got killed. Alice, why don't you go lay down or something? Like, drink some water. <laughs> Like my fault, well, yeah, like my my eye is starting to swell a little bit, and like it, like from my headache, it started like with like a little thing like right here. It's just become more like inconvenient than anything. Uh, well, well, take a hit yeah. of weed or something that might help. Oh, well, like I did, right. I did, and yeah. I'm feeling better because I did. But like, I'm just like, uh -huh. well, Alice, I'm I'm well, psychically I'm, I'm psychically massaging your temples. Do you feel that? You know, I don't know why, but I seen the next one. I'm like, man, they should just name the politicians this next one. But, uh, what's that? Oh, 1976, Jim Henson's The Muppet Show premiered on television with Mia Farrow <laughs> as the guest star. Yeah, our 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 wow. uh, our leaders are a bunch of Muppets because they're puppets, you know. Yep. <laughs> Kermit, Kermit for president in 2024. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you know, hey, we had an orange guy. Let's bring in, let's bring in the green. You know, like, yeah. Or the guy that wears a boot for a hat. Yeah, Vermin oh, Supreme. God. That guy's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, 1977, the Red Army faction kidnapped and subsequently murdered West German business executive Hans Martin Sch Sch Schleyer. So that happened. Hmm. In 1977, you also have a NASA, a NASA launch. Well, it's your turn if you want to take it. NASA launches Voyager 1 on a mission. Just fly by Jupiter and, Jupiter and Saturn. Later, Uranus, <laughs> Neptune, also in 2001, becomes the first human-made object to leave the solar system. Ooh, so as of 2012. So, yeah, Voyager 1, so it launched in 1977. And yeah, this left today in history. Yeah, uh, that's cool. So this is uh oh yeah. So yeah, it later became the first object, man-made object, to leave uh, the solar system. Um, like, 1978 conference of interest. Uh, Anwar Sadat, Mesham Bedjin, and Jimmy Carter began Egypt-Israeli peace conference at Camp David. Menachem Begin. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Thank you. Yep. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. though, like, uh, they discovered our solar system is actually a lot larger than we thought it was, because like they're discovering like, you know, like more bubbles of energy, like you know, way out there, and like more asteroid belts, and like it's, it, it doesn't stop at Pluto, you know, it 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 go, it's actually, the planets are only like half of it, like it goes on, you know, until only well, say it's nonstop expanding anyway too. Yeah, that too. Yeah. yeah. Well, here I'm I'm gonna forego the the tennis open. Okay. And go with 1979. Also, though, same day that the tennis thingy majigger happened, we have Canada put its first gold bullion coin on sale. Hey, I know a couple Canadians. <laughs> They're really weird people, you know. Like very strange. Like, yeah, they apologize too much. Yeah. Yeah, they do. And you, and you just can't trust anybody who likes hockey, you know. There you go. Uh, next to uh, highlight 79 here is good. The Earl. Uh, you can take it or you can give it to Scott. I'll give it to Scott. Alright. Like, oh. like, my left eye is like still kind of being a... Oh, man. A douche. It's being a douche canoe. Dang. Like, the headache's gone away, but my my eye feels like kind of puffy and swollen and oh. throbby. Go drink so, some water so I have like tension behind it. Yeah. I think it's my sinus now. Uh, drink some water uh, or something. I will in a second. Anyway, Scott. Well, I will in a minute. 1979, Earl, Earl of Mountbatten's ceremonial funeral held in Westminster Abbey. Mm. A Supreme Allied Commander and last Viceroy of India. Oh, this guy. Lord Mountbatten. Yeah, I can't remember, but we read him pretty much every day. There's something. Well, we've, we've reported on him a couple of times. So... I'm back. Welcome back, so in. Um, Scott, uh, well, just looking to see if there's anything else. Well, I see one in week. 1980. Um, 
the uh, the tunnel thing. 1980 world's longest road tunnel, St. Gothard in Swiss Alps opens. Dang. Don't get stuck in there. No, no. no. World's longest road tunnel is St. Yeah, Gothard. Yeah, how long is it? Let me see the length of this. So, I know the Eisenhower Tunnel in Colorado is like at least a mile long. Yeah, what is the last? Well, what year are y'all now? Uh, right now we are in 1980, but I'm looking up the information about the Gothard based tunnel in Switzerland. It is the world's okay. longest and deepest tunnel. It runs under the Swiss Alps between the towns of Ersterfield in the north and Bodio in the south. The tunnel is 57 kilometers long and reaches a depth of 2,300 meters, which 57 Jesus. kilometers. Yeah, let's see here. 57 kilometers. What is that? Let me look that up here real quick. Like, uh, like 40, like 30 something or 40 something? Uh, 35 and almost a half miles. So that's the length, so 35 miles long, uh, rough, uh, yeah, and then a uh, depth, wow. uh, depth of 2,300 meters, uh, which is... Uh, Imagine getting stuck in traffic in that thing. Screw that, it's, yeah. It's no, about a half a mile one, underground. One and a half miles almost, actually. Yeah. I saw a deal on that one. The pressure, the deal pressure with in oh, your yeah, ears. I wonder how that compares in length to the one that connects uh, England and... Uh, Oh, the, the Channel Tunnel? Yeah. Oh, the, uh, the, the English Channel? I think it's like 25-something miles. Channel length. Uh, channel 31.5. So I was I was off. So, yeah. yeah really close. Mm-hmm. That's a long way. Jesus. That is. Um, so let's see. You... Scott, I think, has one more? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, could I maybe do the next two 1986? Okay. Go for it. 1986, third MTV Video Music Awards, Whitney Houston wins. All right. Well, also 1986, hijacking of aircraft Pan Am 73 at Karachi Airport, Pakistan, 20 passengers killed. Dang. Oh, jeez. Yep. I don't remember that one. Karachi. I, I think I remember hearing about that. Like, Karachi the is just a hotbed of stuff. So... Um, let's see here. Mr. Sohan, 1987. Carl Lewis. Hey. Okay. 1987, second world champion in athletics, Carl Lewis wins gold in men's long jump. Ah, uh, yes, here we go again. He's not only a long jumper, though, he's a sprinter, so he's like, you know, yeah. a couple things. 1987. Carlton Fisk club his 300th career HR off Danny Jackson, which is you know, ooh, he does a home run, cool. Yes, uh, yeah, of the of the clubs, or oh, he clubbed it, so he like whack. Like, yeah. Huh. Eighteen. I mean, 1987. John Elmore is fined seventeen thousand five hundred for Trias at U.S. Tennis Open. John I'm pretty sure I remember this. John McEnroe and his tirades. He's like, yeah. he was like yelling at the, well, you know, the, judges, yeah. the judges. He was a hothead. Hmm. Yep. He looks like one. He has that kind of like, you can see the anger behind his head, his face, you know. One more. Go ahead. 1989 daytime talk show, The Joan Rivers Show, hosted by Joan Rivers, premieres on US TV. Yeah. Um... You weren't here because you walked out because of the heat and everything yesterday, but uh, yesterday was uh, uh, Joan Rivers' death anniversary, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Didn't she go I in for a so. facelift or something and ended up dying? Yeah, yeah, we were report reporting on that, actually. Um, uh, Stupid. Yeah. Uh, Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> you got your facelifted, all right. Yeah. Cause of death, cardiac arrest after serious complications from a procedure on her vocal cords. Yeah, so. that's bullshit. She got a facelift. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, there's other things saying that uh, they, she was killed off. Anyway, wh whatever it is, it's a, it's a sad tragedy. Like, you know, she had a very unique voice. So, she I am Joan Rivers, Rivers, you yeah, know. Yeah, she's a comic. Yeah. yeah. Basically. She was a very Rivers funny comedian. Dude, that? she was Dot. She was Dot in Spaceball. Oh, she was? Oh, yeah, that's right. She was. 
Yeah, Dot what 3 or whatever. Uh, yeah, she the was robot. Dot and Spaceballs. Oh. Okay. You remember Spaceballs? No, I no. Oh, Okay, I didn't see it. What? What? She's the robot that follows uh, the princess around. Yeah, I know. The, the, the C3PO knockoff. Dude, this guy hasn't seen Spaceballs. <laughs> Not like a robot. That might be a movie you have to make him watch tonight. Yeah, yeah, we gotta. Well, I, I've still gotta make him a Discord account to get him in here, maybe. Uh, maybe he can, like, watch the movie with us on his phone downstairs or something in the future. Who knows? I gotta get on that for you. Yeah, we gotta so, do that. Yeah. Right. Anyway, uh, so when you have one more? I don't remember. I did all my three. Okay. Moving on up into 1990, number 12 seed Pete Sampras ended number three uh, Ivan Lendl's bid for ninth straight U.S. Open final with classic 6-4, 7-6, 3-6, 4-6, 6-2, 6-2 quarterfinal win. Went on to win first career Grand Slam title. That was a kind of the changing of the dar- uh, guard of the top dog. Mm. Lindell was the top player of the world, and uh, um, Sampras. Sampras was the up and comer and became the top player of the world. So it was a changing of the guard of that tournament. Well, speaking of uh, changing of guards here, 1990, Iraq President uh, Saddam Hussein urges Arabs to rise against the West. Well, that's a call of violence right there. Yeah. No. Then 1991, Nelson Why Mandela... He... What's up? No, I was just going to say, rise against the West. What made him start that? Just because that's 1990, that's 10 years... Yeah, well, uh, that was years. like slightly before, because uh, wasn't... Uh, Desert Shield and Desert Storm in 93, 94, somewhere in there. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah well, we had uh, boycotted him, and uh, we were kind of lo- uh, losing the war of uh, Attrition? of words oh. amongst the uh, the Arab nations. And uh, so we kind of had to solve it by going in and... Yeah. Putting our foot down. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. One year later, in 1991, Nelson Mandela was chosen as president of African National Congress. Yeah, Mr. That, Mandela. Died. Yeah, which yeah. Um, Dad here, uh, he's I somewhat told him, but he doesn't fully really know what the Mandela effect is. Um, so. Yeah, I was gonna say, didn't people think he died? Yeah. He, oh, around that time. Yeah. yeah. You know, the Mandela effect, you know, a crash course is like you know obviously named after this guy because this is yeah. what sparked the whole thing. Um, but like, there is like you know there's there's people in, and there's evidence of him having died in jail, but obviously that didn't yeah. happen. Yeah. So like you know there's this whole like you know Mandela effect and that by extension like you know goes hand in hand with like the whole multiverse theory. Like maybe we slipped into another dimension where he didn't die, you know, or maybe something crossed over or, or whatever. Yeah. You know? That but, and false memories. Talk about that. Yeah. What's got false memories? I don't that remember C three P O ever having a silver leg. Hold on a second, Scott's trying to say something. What, Scott? So, that and false memories. An example would be the Berenstain Bears or the Berenstein Bears. Both yes. people think that it's one way or the other. Yeah, that's a very, that's another very, you know, go-to, you know, thing that's, that's uh, as a, an example. So, right. yeah. Uh, anyway, I think it's Alice's turn here. Uh, Unless she wants to pass. Well. Don't push it. Yeah. Don't push it. Yeah, don't push it, Alice. Yeah. Like, if you don't feel good, don't don't feel obligated. You know, your health oh, comes we first. We have a 1993 F. Murray Abraham release from hospital after car accident. The actor. Oh. Okay. Okay. We got an NFL record here. Wait. Actually, no. We have a 94. We have Pergiza government resigns. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. And how about uh, the blue 94 here? Yeah, that's in 1994. The blue one right there. Jerry Lewis, 29th muscular, muscular dystrophy telephone raises $47.1 million. Wow. <laughs> So from the first one raising one million to the 29th raising 47 million, that's a huge uh, increase. 26 years later. Yeah, yeah that's a big deal. Yeah. 20, 28. Yeah. So. 28. 66. I thought. Oh. 66. So, so those were my three yeah. then. Yeah, it says the 29th right here. So. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, but like yeah, we've spoken about this a couple of times. In total, he raised over two billion dollars. You know, like all the whole thing combined. You know, all of them. That's incredible. Yeah. Well. There we go. I did my three there, though, buddy. 
now I'm going to have to do the NFL record and baseball record. Well, Scott will enjoy the baseball record and maybe the <laughs> NFL record. Uh, okay, 1994 SF wide receiver Jerry Bryce catches two touchdown passes and runs for another four in 49er 44-14 route of the Raiders. Surpasses Jim Brown as NFL career touchdown leader with 127. Dang. I got to tell you, Jim Brown was an absolute running back monster. <laughs> he, just, he just rolled over guys. Unbelievable. Never seen power like that well, this day. Look at that picture. You know, like that, you know, that's frightening. Well, you yeah. Know? Oh, he's a monster. He looks like one. I, I wouldn't want that coming at me, you know? So. There it is, right there, though. 1995, Cal Ripken Jr., the Iron Man himself, ties Gary's record of playing in 2,130 straight games. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Dang. Nice. Cal Ripken. Yeah, he, like, when he finally took a day off, I think he went and, like, took a lap around the stadium and, or something. You're right. You're right. It's not blue, but it's not highlights black. But the second, ni- uh, the, the 96. I was going to say uh, the, the same one. thing. Mr. Scott. All right. Well, what? Uh, the 1996, the one after Summer and Smoke. Yeah, the, yep. black, the black one, yeah. the, black, uh, the black numbered one. All right, 1996. Following U.S. cruise missile strikes on Iraq, crude oil prices rise as the market speculates when Iraq will begin exporting oil under the UN Resolution 986. Mm. What is Resolution 986? Uh, let me look that up here real quick. Let's see here. Uh, adopted unanimously on April 14th in 1995 after reaffirming all resolutions on Iraq and nothing, oh, and noting the serious humanitarian situation uh, with the Iraqi uh, civilian uh, population, the Council, acting under Chapter 7 of the United Nations Charter, established a mechanism whereby oil, uh, Iraqi oil exports would finance humanitarian aid to the country, which later become, became known as the Oil for Food Program. So essentially, any money Iraq made from selling their oil went right back into the, the people itself instead of into the pockets of like you know the corporations or any of that stuff. Supposedly. Supposedly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dude, uh, there is a 2005 in blue that's really important. Yeah, I, I was really, reading uh, some of the 2012s and I'm like, why is there so many people getting exploded? But, alright, go ahead. <laughs> that. But there's a 2005 of Worthy of Note right here. Add for the next highlighted one. I think it's the Sohan's only 2005. Turn. Uh, Sohan? Mandel Airlines, is that what we're talking about? Yeah, it looks like it's yeah. only 2005 here. Yeah. Hey, I didn't miss a death. Yeah. So, in 2005, I believe it's your turn, right? Okay. 2005, Andela Airlines Flight 91 crashes into a heavy populated residential area seconds after taking off from Redan in Sumatra, Indonesia, killing 100 people on board and 49 people on the ground. Dang. Damn. Oh, well, there's also a 2012, yes. And so, two 2012s, yeah. That's uh, what I said. Why are so many people getting exploded? What am I doing? Am I doing 2005 or am I doing 2012? What? Mm-hmm. Y'all are confusing me. Is it? To, am, I do, am I supposed to be on 2005 or 2012? No, you, we no, you just did 2005. You, just, you did yeah, that right. Yeah, you, you're doing it right. Uh, we're moving on up into 2012 here. No, we're doing 2007. Three terrorists okay. Okay, do it. Yeah. to be part of the Al Qaeda are arrested cool. in Germany after allegedly planning attacks on both the Frankfurt International Airport and U.S. Oh yeah. Military oh, yeah. installation. Oh, Damn. Oh, man. oh yeah. Oh shit! Um, there's another 2012 too. A lot of explosions today. Oh. So. Oh, and yeah. 2012. Sorry, I did say that one. Five people are killed and four wounded. After an ammunition store exploded in Afron, Turkey. Oh my god. Dang. Ammunition exploding reminds me of something that happened in Florida. So they had an explosion in an ammunition place in 2012, like out in Istanbul. That's it, reminds me of something recently. that happened in Florida. And now in 2012, somewhere, uh, 
in Afghan Turkey. Turkey is just getting screwed a lot. Yeah. Uh, so, Ed, what, what happened in Florida that you're remembering? Uh, the guitarist of Cannibal Corpse's house caught on fire and ammunition was going off. Oh, God. That's huh. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's, that's, that's hilarious and dangerous. Yeah. Oh. Dude, there's a, yeah, 2014 even as well, dude. We got... Well, like, Alice, let, let's let let Sohan pick and choose here. Um, uh, got, man, all these deaths. We have another 2012 here, 54. Oh, here. that one, yeah. Okay. 54 people are killed and 50 injured after a firecracker actor explodes in Nadu. Oh, God. <laughs> Dang. If any ammunition going off, it's fucking firecrackers. What next? Mm-hmm. No kidding. Grenade locker? The grenade stores can go off? Grenade stores. Let's have a okay. cigarette, shall we? <laughs> 2014. 2014 World Health Organization, or the WHO, not the band, <laughs> estimates nine, oh, 900, well, 1,900 people have died from Ebola virus out of... 3,500 infected in Guinea, Liberia, Nigeria, Senegal, and Sierra Leone. Yeah, like, uh, wasn't, uh, Scott, like, when we were watching one of my 2016 episodes, uh, wasn't I talking about, like, Ebola and stuff like that? Like, yeah. yep. I remember that was a Man, thing, so. everybody tried don't scaring us in the United States, like, oh, it came to the United States. No, it didn't. Hmm. Let's scare people and shit. Well, uh, maybe, like, this is uh, affiliated with uh, this, this thing that you just read, uh, Sohan, but it says here, 2015, U.S. health officials confirmed a salmonella, okay, so it's not re related, but they confirmed a salmonella outbreak linked to cucumbers from Mexico, who were responsible for one death and making hundreds sick. So, yeah, don't eat Mexican cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or cook them. Yeah. Well, wait, what? Um, well, I guess you can cook cucumbers, but... Wow, look at this one in 2017. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Oh, Ghost. <coughs> what, Scott? We were just What's talking about this 2017 one with Ghost. Uh, yeah, yeah the, the Irma. Yeah, okay, 2017, Hurricane Irma became the most powerful hurricane ever recorded in the Atlantic Basin region with winds up 185 miles Ooh. per hour or 280 kilometers per hour. Wow. R remember what he said? He said he was, like, getting blown literally off his... You, that was time to go take cover. Yeah, he was with his girlfriend at the time or whatever, and they, they were uh, on his like his his second floor deck. You know, they're they're you know a little um uh what's it called uh balcony or whatever, and the winds yeah. literally lifted him up. You know, yeah. Yeah. by right. like a couple inches. Like, he, so there's another 2017. Uh, 2017, Togo's government shut down the internet for a week to quell government opposition. Woohoo! Ew. Now uh, that uh, is wow. a definition of silencing. Yes, yeah. I was literally going to say that. So, um, oh wow, oh. Alice, why don't you take uh, this first 2018 here, the non-highlight yeah, one, I the just one? I just read it too. Yeah. Be back. All right. Yeah, all right. So in 2018, we have anonymous senior White House official opinion piece. I am part of the resistance inside the Trump administration, published by New York Times. Wow. Was uh, released today. Oh man, you know, like I gotta say, Trump has just been getting the shit kicked out of him, like, you know, and there's he some things. But he still stands up on his feet. Yeah. Anyway, yep. we also have in 2018 we have the UK Prime Minister Theresa May confirms in Parliament two Russian military intelligence officers undertook a Novichok nerve agent attack, prompt international condemnation. Wow. Wow. Well, wow, I remember hearing something vaguely about this somewhere. Yeah, I don't I remember back also. I remember like it was a nerve agent and like something lightly about it, but it, like it was mentioned in some Q stuff, but Yeah. And then uh oh Alice, twenty nineteen, uh, I think you were talking about this earlier before we started the show. Yeah, from your weird yeah, history yeah, source. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we have in two thousand nineteen we got the world's oldest m woman to give birth at, at the age of 74 her name was Uramadi Magma Mangama 
and uh, she gave birth to twins at the age of 74 in Hyderabad, Hyder India. Dang. Dang. Holy yeah, she still getting her period and everything. I feel bad for her. Oh, man. Like, yeah, yeah. kids are all going to be awfully young, and she may not be a... Yeah, uh, she might not. Yeah, there is that chance. So right. probably one of her... Do uh, so one of the sisters will take care of them. Yeah. Or uh, sons. Or brothers or sisters, yeah. You know. Or father? Or father, well, depending on how old the father is. Yeah. Like, you know, men can True. continue to pregnate women until they die. Women, we are egg have an expiration date, technically. Apparently, yeah, we can only have yeah. so many. Yeah. Menopause. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we only have so many before, you know, whatever. Like, I would have my eggs off. I bet you, like, I would have, like, my eggs would have produced some pretty good whatever, but I'm also weird, strange, and unusual. And. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Well, that one. Got a guy had like a wide, fat tire, little thingy bolt bed. Uh, well, I'm gonna take us up into 19, uh, 2019 as well. A new theory: the Loch Ness monster may be a giant eel. After DNA study reveals no plesiosaur or sturgeon DNA found, so what? it might be a giant eel. I wonder why they said Loch Ness. Oh, Loch Ness, Ness monster. Loch Ness monster. What the hell? That's weird. Yeah, you're right. Huh. The Lost Ness Monster. Hmm. Oh, what? they forgot to put a CH in there? I don't know. Like, we're uncovering so many, like, uh, uh, discrepancies in our source. I, I'm about ready to, like, take it over. Oh, you know? shit. Dude, check out the, the right after the Loch Ness one, Xander. Take I was going to read that, actually. 2019 as well. South African women marched on Parliament to protest violence against women after a month when 30 were killed by their spouses. Oof, Whoa. Geez. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's disgusting. Oh, shit. Hey, and look, we got a George Floyd uh, one in 2020 here. Uh, uh, 2020, just two years ago, more than 50 people were arrested as Portland, Oregon marked 100 days of protests against racism and police brutality. And yeah. yeah, George Floyd garbage and all that crap. Yeah, yeah and, and it didn't even happen out there. And no. you know what happened to every arrest? They were released the next day yeah. Yeah. and not charged. But then they had the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, Chaz, you know, like for a while and people died and all that <laughs> crap. Dude, you got a 2021 Xander too, like the blue one. All right, I will close out the main body out. here. 2021, just last year, a coup by soldiers in Guinea, headed by Colonel Dawamboya, deposed President Alpha Conde and his government, claiming rampant corruption. Hmm. That's interesting. That should have been highlighted, too. That's kind of like a coup d'etat. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. See, what the hell's going on on this site now? I don't know. Yeah. There's so much shit that was actually important, I thought. Hey, Listen, I, think, I am going to say goodbye to everybody. Have fun. Yep. It's oh, getting yeah. too hot Bye, for the uh, meat cleaver up in here. Later. So. Yep. Bye, one. Dad. Go cool off. Go, go sit under your fan. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to do another split here. Yep, Already. we're about almost two hours in. Almost, yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> moving on up in the burst. Alice, why don't you start us off here in 1187? Uh, for birthdays? All right, I'm going to be quick about this. Oh, we've got Louis the Eighth, yes, Coeur de Lion, the King of France, twelve twenty-three to twenty-six, born in Paris, a de Croix. Ah. We also, oh shit, snacks! I got two of them. We got Died Peter the Fourth, King of Aragon, in thirteen nineteen, thirteen thirty-six to eighty-seven, born in Perpignan, France. So. There you go. There's two. Alright. You look up with the French birthdays. I don't know, but Scott has one here in 1638. 1638, Louis XIV, King of France from 1615. The Sun King had longest reign in Chateau Saint Germain at Lai, Lai, France. Just say Chacoa, 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 Chacoa. By the Chateau way, Saint Germain and Lay. Yeah, Scott, you were cutting in and out a little bit. We could still hear you, but it was like, you know, did, did, yeah. did, did, so, yeah. Uh, uno mas, senor. Still hear me? I, I can hear you. 
Oh, that's a good one. In 1847, Jesse James, American outlaw and son of a clergyman from <laughs> Bierney, Missouri. Ah, Jesse James. Dude, he uh, lost half of his crew in uh, Minnesota for a bank heist down in, uh, what is that fucking called? Uh, North something, yeah, Northfield, Minnesota or something. No idea. Yeah. We'll get up sometime. So, hey. Yes. I'm scrolling. Here we go. 1927. 19, hold up. Let me see. Okay, never mind. Oh, we lost Scott. He'll be back. There he is. 1926, right? 27. Unless you want 26. Up to you. No. 1927, Paul Volcker, American economist and chairman of the United States Federal Reserve, 1979 to 1987. Born in Cape May, New Jersey, died in 2019. All I can say is the U.S. Federal Reserve, boo! Boo! Federal Reserve, boo! So, that's all I have to say about that. Oh, look at that. Look at 1929. Which one? Well, the highlighted one. Oh, uh, okay. So has turned still. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Happy birthday, buddy. Okay, uh, 1929, right? Yep. Yep. Which one? Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, 1929. Adrian Gray go yet it. No, no, the highlight Adrian? one. So no. uh -huh. oh. the highlight one. Okay. Infamous man. Okay. Uh Defonso Petty, AP Santos, Filipino landscape artist, national what? artist of the Philippines. In nineteen twenty nine, right? No, okay. The highlighted yeah. one in nineteen twenty nine, the black one, Bob Newhart. Oh. Bob Newhart. Oh. <laughs> Alice is losing his shit. <laughs> I'm skipping my turn. I'm so fucking annoyed. Now we y'all with something else. Okay. 1929, we have uh, Bob Aww. Newhart, was a U.S. comedian, the Bob Newhart Show in Newhart, born in Oak Park, Illinois. <laughs> Alice, <laughs> I'm watching you have a meltdown. I think he's still alive. I think he's still I think he's still alive today, right now. I or no, I think before he died, but it doesn't say he. It doesn't show a D day. No, this is this yeah, is not. Still alive. We're not in deaths, Alice. We're in births. He's still alive. He's ninety three. Yeah. Okay. Good. So he is still alive. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. And then we have Raquel Welch, born on the state in nineteen forty. She was a U.S. actress and singer, Myra Breckenridge. 1000 BC and 100 rifles, born in Chicago, Illinois. So, Chicago. Chicago. Oh, Alice, you're gonna love this one. Your turn. Just oh, perfect. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. In 1946, we have Farah Bosara, also known as Freddie Mercury. There's singer and songwriter from Queens. He was born in Stonetown, Sultanate in Zanzibar. Uh, the Sultanate of Zanzibar, so it was under a Sultanate. So that's uh, like, uh, you know... Zanzibar. He died in 1991, unfortunately. Are the champions. Yep. One of the most I unique know. vocal singers I've ever heard in we'll my life. We'll keep on Pretty fighting until the, the end. end. We are the champions. We are the champions. No time for losing, cause we are the champions of, of the world. world. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Well, Mr. Uh, Scott. No, no, I, no, no, oh, I got was... one more. Rem yeah, you do. No, I'm no, sorry. no. No, I've got two. I just only did one. Yeah, yeah, that's right. My bad. I'm sorry. You have one more. Because also, I want to take this one. Thank you very much. In 1951, we have a Michael Keaton, 
the American actor from Dumb Ho, Batman, Beetlejuice, was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ah. And yeah, that, I that, did only one, buddy. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Buddy, I'm not your buddy, buddy. I'm not your buddy, pal. I'm not your pal friend. I'm not your friend guy. I'm not your guy, buddy. I know the truth. My eyes, like, I'm just keeping it kind of squinty. Mm. So, anyway, now it's your turn to go. <sighs> okay, madame. Over here for Zender, he's a good sir. So, 1973, Rose McGowan, American actress for Charm and sexual harassment activist born in Florence, Italy. Mm. Really. That's a fancy area. Mm. And well, uh, you get to pick one more if you want before we go into deaths. Uh, let's see. Or you can just straight up start deaths. Let's go into starting deaths. All right. Moving on into deaths, starting us off in the year 75, Mr. Scott. 75, Emperor Ming of Han, or Lu Yang, Lu Yang, Chinese Emperor of the Han Dynasty from 58 to 69 AD, dies at 47. Dang. Dang. Uh, Sohan, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, you ready for oh another turn? Oh my gosh, this guy again. Yeah, we have the onion head here. Yes. What's this guy with this big hat? That's I know. Cool. So, and do you want to take the onion head here? The pleasure. Uh, what? He said the pleasure. My pleasure, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just, he just has the greatest name ever. I know. Soyman the Magnificent. Well, 1966. Suleiman the Magnificent, Ottoman Sultan and the longest reigning Sultan of the Ottoman Empire, 1530 to 1566, dies at 71 or September. All right, he's saying his death is either today or September 6th, which is tomorrow. Yes. So one of those Ooh, days. Prepare, be prepared to see him again, probably, just in case. Probably. Hey, you know, like I, I'd love to see that hat. I'd love to have that hat. That's an amazing hat. Like, like that. I think that's how he got the title of the Magnificent. That's a magnificent hat, you know? That's as big as a human torso, dude. That's huge. Ooh. I can make it. 1877 is pretty cool. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. 1877, Crazy Horse. Tonka Wito. Last great Sioux War Chief. Dies at 37. Dang. Hmm. I've seen the uh, structure of them building Crazy Horse out in, um, out in, uh, out in this, uh, South Dakota in the Black Hills, out by Custer. Yeah, and, like, don't they not want it? Like, like you know, like, because that's destroying a national, you know, the national yeah. beauty. The natural beauty. Um, yeah. And after the whole, like, you know, uh, Mount Rushmore thing, where to this day they still have all the rubble, you know, from that carving, all the crap, you know, it's just on the, on the ground underneath it. They never cleaned it up. So, you know. Yeah. What? 1902, we have Rudolf Virchow, was a German pathologist and politician. Cell pathology died at 80. So what is what is cell pathology? So let's look this up here really quick. Uh, cellular, cellular pathology is the study of organs and tissues and is used to diagnose illnesses and medical problems. Similar to other branches of medicine such as blood testing, radiology, blood transfusion, and biochemistry. We analyze the causes of certain diseases and the effects that they are having on the body. Okay, that's interesting. And then Francis Ford died on his date in 1953. I see an Alice, but uh, he was an American actor. The Quiet Man died at 72. Sorry, Alice. I can't help it. Whenever I see an Alice, but I got mention it. You know. I'll be right back. I gotta close my phone. Okay. Uh, I missed it then. Yeah. Mr. Scott's. Uh, oh, wow. Zander. Wow, you get a good one here. Well, not, well, not a good one. She died, but like, I, you know, you get what I'm saying. Yep. 1997. Mother Teresa or Agnes Gonks Gonksa Bohaju. 
Albanian born Indian nun and founder of Missionaries of Charity for the Nobel Peace Prize of got the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979 dies of cardiac arrest at 87 dang didn't we talk about when she was born something about the war or something like when she was actually born yeah she was born uh, August 26 1910 in the Ottoman Empire in Albania in the Ottoman Empire so right so it was like right at the end of that yeah no, right at the, the, like four years before the outbreak of the first world war uh, first That's world war I mean, was yeah. 1914 through 18 so throughout her like you know early childhood like you know four to eight years old all she knew was war and that's when your first memories right. of life you know that you'll have you know start you know making everything so could you imagine the very first memories you have is of the great war you know no wonder she fought for peace and all that stuff you know like that's yeah mm. yep yeah and uh oh you have uh, another one here in 2016 okay Twenty sixteen Phyllis Sh oh, Schlafly Schlafly yeah Phyllis Schlafly American right wing crusader Eagle Forum president dies at ninety two. Dang. And that concludes right the show. Once again, you can check the underbar in the description for any links you may find interesting, including but not limited to all things Omni Coalition, as well as. Oh, and TV on Twitch. Yep. For your dose of past events daily, we stream at every day, uh, 10 in the morning Pacific time. Off Central. 1 p.m. Eastern time. Yep. For all of you and all of us, I, of course, am A.O. Xander. I'm Scott. Yep. Uh, and, and you, viewer, of course, are you. And until you check us out uh, tomorrow, don't forget to look right and left at every intersection. Rate five thumbs and subscribe. Until then, toodles. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs>